Hey guys, Katie Weaver here with our weekly reading for Aries, and that is, of course, for the week of April 20th. So I was pulling cards this week from the Tarot of Transformation. That deck is by Willow, Arlena, and Jasmine Corey. Really beautiful deck. So we're looking at the wisdom and the warnings for this week for Aries. So Aries, the wisdom card that I pulled for you this week is the Cutting Away Illusion card the server of swords, and the cutting away of illusion. So how does that work for you this week? And of course, this is the wisdom of the week. So cutting away illusion is this. The wisdom is get real. Get really real about your finances. Absolutely no more avoiding, avoiding money issues. No more pretending. No more shoving a bill somewhere that you'll look at later. This is the week to get everything on paper, to get very clear about what your financial situation looks like. It might not be fun. This may be painful. Hopefully there's some triumphs within it as well, but you really can no longer afford to skate along just getting by. You've got to get clear. So that's one big piece of wisdom that comes up for you this week. Uh, the other part of that in cutting away illusion is for you to get clear about how you're doing because you've been kind of a rock when people ask you how you're doing, you suck it up and you sell, tell them you're fine, even though you may not be. And this is a week where you may not get away with that. I feel like things like anxiety and trouble sleeping and other emotional things may come up that make it a little more hard to hide how you're really doing. So what do you do with that? Well, reach out. Reach out to somebody to talk to. Reach out to somebody that you can ask for some advice, at least somebody to just commiserate with. But I think a big uh, part of that this week for you is to not suffer in silence. So it's definitely a week for you, Aries, of really, really getting real. I do think some of it may be a little painful, but then again, I think that when it's over, when you've done that, you'll feel better. Once you have addressed the elephant in the room, you won't be ignoring it anymore. I actually feel like you will have a huge weight lifted off of your shoulders in doing so. So let's move on to the warning for the week. The warning is the joyous flow card, gorgeous card. So how is that a warning? Well, here's how it's a warning for you. Do not refuse yourself opportunities to be happy. Don't beat yourself up for taking a nap. Don't act like you have to always be productive. You're kind of on both sides of the fence this week, and I think you've been in a real uh, internal battle over it because part of you really wants to just have a 24-hour long Netflix stint while the other part of you is feeling like you really need to be working or looking for a job or, you know, attending every moment, and you just can't. You have been through a trauma the last couple of months, a pretty good one, and you are still healing from that. You are still working on that. So rather than be in this space right now where you hold yourself to an impossible standard, allow some joy to flow. Allow yourself to do some things that you enjoy. Allow yourself to eat some things that you love. Allow yourself to find some ways to seek out happiness. That's a huge part of your healing this week. So on one hand, making yourself get real, get down to brass tacks as far as finances are concerned, and perhaps uh, self-care. And then on the other side of that, resisting the urge to beat yourself up, resisting the urge to be too hard on yourself. You know what, Aries? You're doing the best you can. And you have been all along, and you will moving forward. So some of the uh, triggers that might come up this week are shame, especially old shame over money and employment and self-care. Other things that you may see come up this week are uh, potential to want to withdraw from people that you do care about because you may not feel like you really have anything nice to say. Sometimes you don't. It's okay. Guess what? The people that love you, they're going to love you anyway. So for this week, let yourself off the hook. Be kind and gentle and carve out a little bit of time to get very real about your financial situation. I promise you are going to feel better and lighter than you have done. So 
Have a good week, and I'll be back next week with a read for the following.